Welcome. We, I am Chrissy Martin. I'm here with Brucey e. Moore from the Harbor Playhouse and Chef Don Shockley. And we are going to open one of my favorite wines today. So good. We actually, this is the Martin Ulysses yeah. Signature Collection. Oh, good. We call it that because it smells like the wine my grandfather used to make here in Corpus Christi, Texas, in his backyard. Wow. It doesn't taste like that wine. Yeah. <laughs> um, his wine was a, a little thing. more 80 it's proof. That's a good thing. It was kind of what you had when you had a cold. You went and took a shot of the wine. Yeah, it was yeah. a lot more alcohol, but fortified. Yeah. Yeah. So in his honor, though, and the, and the beautiful smell of this wine, we um, we actually took his passport and ah. embossed it on his signature ah. on the top yes. and named it the Signature Collection. Nice. So it is, if you're a cab fan, at all it is very much like a cab it's robust it's got some leather some tobacco it's it's a beautiful wine great for the holiday seasons um, really easy to drink too which is nice this is the first one you brought in wasn't it it is the very first wine I brought in in 2006 oh, cheers. Oh, cheers cheers happy holidays happy yes. holidays oh, I love the nose on this nice big nose Oh, that is yeah. wonderful. So good. It's great. It so velvety. what are you... It is. Velvety. It's wonderful. It really is. What are you pairing with it, Chef? We're going to make a rostachini. It was so much fun. I read heard of it. I had the pleasure of going over to Italy with Chrissy last spring. And these are just basically lamb skewers. So Britzi was a very big lamb region. They used mm -hmm. to bring the lamb. They would take them from the mountains down to the sea and then back up into the mountains depending on the time of the year. And this is what the shepherds ate when they were doing it. And it was basically just lamb skewers with rosemary, garlic, and a little bit of lemon juice to kind of bring down the flavor in it. And traditionally, they would cook it on this little grill here. Mm -hmm. And you would fill it up with coals, and the skewers would just fit right on top there. And they could carry this with them because it's very lightweight. Oh, and that was sure. their little grill. I'm going to do a little bit differently. I'm going to do it in the oven because most of us have a broiler and we can go ahead and put it in the broiler in the oven. Mm -hmm. So basically I have some skewered, some lamb cubes here. I'm going to mm -hmm. skewer them, marinate them just for a few minutes with olive oil, garlic, rosemary, a little bit of lemon juice. Oh, Come really on. simple. It's very, and you've heard me say it before, I think Americans tend to complicate the food and the Italians just, they, they take very simple ingredients and bring out the flavors of those ingredients. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's so enjoyable. It's so neat that for four ingredients or five ingredients, you can get this wonderful flavor that's going to come mm, out. Yeah. Okay. So easy. So, cheers. Okay. okay. <laughs> I like it. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. We're going to cheers on this whole thing. I love it. I love it. <laughs> this is going to be a fun segment, I can tell. <laughs> so I'm just going to chop up some rosemary and get these on the skewers, and you can tell us a little bit what oh, you good, have going good. on. Oh, yeah. Tell well, us about the Harbor Playhouse. We have some exciting news to share with you today, Chrissy. Uh, we have been undergoing a renovation right. over the past several months. And we have had a major facelift in our lobby. Oh, our that's exciting. And our theater. And uh, we are so happy to welcome people into the new, improved Harbor oh. Playhouse. We have some gorgeous chandeliers. Wow. Uh, beautiful. Just spruce the whole place spruce up. Spruce the whole place oh, up. That's and it's great. magnificent. And, and that coincided with the largest production in our 85 year history, Les Miserables. Which was amazing. I went to it. Oh, and good. Very, it. very, was very impressed because I'd seen it in New York. And, you know, that's a whole nother. And then you come and you're like, wow, we do it right in Corpus. Thank we you. really do. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it was, it, it was just an amazing production. And, and we're so looking forward now to our fall. Uh, shows. Sorry. Uh, and and of course our Christmas tradition of the Christmas Carol. Which I can't wait for. Oh, no. When when you does that, that start? You know that that's going to be sometime in late November and I'm okay. sorry I don't have that. That's date. okay. Late November and then it runs all the way through to the pretty much to the 15th of December. Yeah. yeah. So right, up to right before Christmas. Just to get you in the holiday spirit. Y that's perfect. Yeah. So we're excited about um, all the new things that have happened, all yeah. the great things that are going to be happening through the end of the year. And then next year we have a phenomenal season. So we're just enticing people to come in and get to know the New Harbor Playhouse. If you haven't uh, been in a while, come back. Come back, because we're going to impress you. I love it. I think that's very, I mean, I've always been impressed. So I'm glad to know these little facelifts are going to just make it better. Oh, well, it's amazing. That made me realize what good theater we have here in Corpus Christi. Absolutely. People say they've got to go to San Antonio or to Houston to go see good theater, and you don't. 
should no, be out here. We've got the talent here. Yeah. It's amazing. In fact, we have some guests from Houston Grand Opera that are, have come wow. over to see Les Mis Rob. Wow. Uh, they were really impressed with the production. And we've had people that are international travelers and have seen the production in, in London and, and in loved it New here. York. And they said this was as good, if not better. That's so fantastic. High That's praise, awesome. high praise. What I love, you guys are always with such diversity. I mean, you do, you kind of hit everything. Every couple of months, it's this new theme, and you get something different, and it gives just one more thing that for tourists that come in, for sure. the yeah, locals that have to do. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, we had Les Miserables, which was, of course, a classic. Uh, play based, musical based on the novel of Victor Hugo. And then we move from that to Evil Dead. <laughs> and we have, we have gallons and gallons and gallons of fake blood, you know. And the aroma of chocolate, because we actually make the fake blood with chocolate. Do you really? Uh, yes, and it's sprayed everywhere, gallons of it, every night. Oh my God. So, oh my yeah. God. <laughs> We're going to call you, uh, Chef. Uh, we need your help with the fake blood uh, for Evil Dead. I love it. That's so fun. Well, I do. I think um, there's something about seeing a Christmas Carol that just makes Christmas. It, well, tell me know. about your memories of Christmas Carol, because you said that you've seen it numerous times. I love to see it. You know, I've done a lot. Of, we've done it either here yeah. or one year we to, went to Branson and saw it up there. But for some mm. reason, it's hard to feel like Christmas when it's 80 degrees outside. Yeah, there is that challenge. And you know, mom does the house and we do the tree and we do all those things, but until you either see it on TV or at the playhouse, it's not really Christmas yet, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's just nice to, to get in the, the feeling of, of God and love and singing and happy and all that good stuff. So Redemption, really yeah. you know, it's a wonderful it's story. It really is. Uh, well, I'm I'm pleased that you have that wonderful memory, especially here in Corpus, that you yeah. enjoyed the performances at Harbor. Because it has been a tradition for it many has. many years, and people look forward to it. It's exciting. It's, it's I think it's just one that we are a very traditional city. Yes. We like our traditions. We don't like change all that much. We like to keep with what we like and all that. So, are, are, where are we now? Are you okay. gonna? Yeah. I'm getting ready to put them in the oven. I'm just gonna take a couple of these rosemary sprigs, mm -hmm. which came out of your mom's backyard. Okay. And I'm gonna lay them on here and lay the meat on the rosemary sprigs so it'll kind of oh. pick up additional flavor as it's roasting in so the oven. So, you sprinkle a little bit on, so and now you're just gonna, gonna make like a bed. Yeah. So are okay. you, you, you're Lay them using on there. some of the rosemary to release some of the oils? Uh-huh. Okay. It'll kind of lift it up. Well, look at you. Yeah. Way more than I know. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> a little bit of salt and pepper and then just a squeeze of lemon juice. Okay. And it smells so good. It's from, it's from my mom's backyard. All the herbs are today. It's just one yeah, so it's probably two hours out of the garden. So oh. it's getting kind of old. <laughs> so it's really and Just do a little squeeze of lemon juice. And the acid in the lemon will actually bring out the flavor of the rosemary and the garlic. We, a lot of times we think we're looking for the lemon flavor when we do yeah. lemon, but the acidity actually brings out the other flavors nice. that we're cooking Brightens with. So, so we not use the always acidity looking for the lemon flavor, working. we're looking okay. for the acidity. I'm going to stick this under the broiler for about four minutes because we want to cook them kind of medium rare to medium, okay. not for very long. And So do you, we'll take over over here on the Harbor Playhouse. So do you guys offer, I know you have season passes, what are the different types of deals that people can well, do? Well, we always offer our seniors and our military a, a discount. Okay. Um, and we have, of course, lower prices for our children, patrons. Nice. Uh, and our adult prices are very, very affordable. And we also offer uh, season tickets. Yeah. And if you get your season tickets from now until November, uh, or even beyond, but not till the end of the year, but we offer a discount, 15, 10, and then 5% discount. Oh, because it's a little bit later in the year. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's great. So you can come and see all of our wonderful productions that we're going to have yeah. next year. And do you guys, um, do you do a lot of Facebook, or is it mainly just go to your website for what plays or when? Right, we have harborplayhouse.com. Okay. And then we do have a Facebook page. It's amazing and Facebook does I, anymore. Yes, and uh, a lot of people, Twitter, and I don't think we have our Twitter account, but we need to get one because... It's a whole different beast than the Facebook. Yeah. I think it's way more confusing. I, I know That's my friend Sarah great. Tindall, she's really into she Twitter. She's very yeah, good at that stuff. She's the Twitter queen. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Sarah. <laughs> no, but I love I love what Facebook can do. I mean, it's unbelievable how many people can reach all over the place. Yes, I mean, it's, yes. it's very, very amazing. I'm glad we have it. Sometimes I curse it, but I'm glad we have it for sure. So I think um, that we've done, you know, great things with Facebook too. And it's amazing how one person can like something and then it's, it's just yeah. everywhere. So 
Do you guys put lots of pictures up on there? Of the that we do, and we have pictures from the productions, oh, past productions, funny. and uh, productions that are currently uh, being attended, uh, and, and we have some of those pictures from the current cast oh, as well. Oh, that's fine. Too. That's because someone was telling me they took some pictures with the cast before Les Mis, and I was like, oh. I would love that because those costumes are so you know, oh, ripped they and are. torn yeah. and sweaty. pale faces and all that. They've so. been in the dungeon for 19 yeah. years. Yeah. Listen, we can arrange for you to have your picture made with the cast. Of oh, that you do Carol. that? Yeah, of course. That's You're, really you've neat. come to the right person. I'm the president of the board. I can make that happen. I love it. I love it. That's really neat because I know that Christmas Carol is a great tradition for a lot of families. Oh, yes. And so to you know have that kind of picture become part of your tradition is pretty neat as well. All right, so they've been in the oven. Ooh, yeah. They're medium rare, which is the way I like them. I think it should be. Oh my God, it smells. Oh, that just smells just delicious. Oh. The fresh rosemary, mm. a little bit of garlic. Thank you. Oh, me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, bon appetit. Let's try that. So, do you? Does it matter if you're fancy? I mean, can you just can we pick it up? Eat it, or do you use How a you knife and a fork? Just oh, now, just pick it up with your fingers. It's going to be hot. Oh wow! And what's really right neat. Mm. When we were there, they had these pitchers. And for a party, you can go around and just serve them and say, Would you like another skewer? Oh, Would you like another oh, skewer? I love it. Pull it right out. That's it was so much wheel. fun. Mm. Oh, this this is really delicious. is delicious. Really good. And it's just so simple. Oh. There again, it's the purity of the ingredients lamb, garlic, rosemary, and a thank great you. wine. Hey, well, thank you so much thank for joining you. us and coming thank and eating you, and Chrissy. drinking. Hey, cheers to you. Cheers to you. Harbor yeah. Playhouse, very Thank fun. Do you want to leave you out? Thank you, Chef. Thank you for joining us. I'm Chrissy Martin, and you can visit us on Facebook and Twitter.